What is up, guys? This is RT Kev with another banger. And this video is about how disappointing it is after a beautiful time getting my window tent on the front windshield and how great it looks. Some bull crap has happened. Sorry guys, I'm paying attention to the person I'm in and out. And she's gonna walk up to the window and take my order. So um that's why I'm kinda like looking ahead right here and pulling up as I talk to you guys. So something happened with the um it must have gotten wet, I think, on my dashboard. Um because my glove box light went out and my dome light went out on the top and this was like right after I got the tent I know to use water the guy that owns the shop said that they use uh, and I've been to him before so I, I know he's not just saying whatever you know like just uh whatever but um I'm getting ready to yeah I'm getting ready to give them my order I think and let me get right back to you guys okay give me one second look how busy this in and out is this is crazy. Like it's going out to the street and they're outside with like three different people taking orders because it's just so crazy. And I am still in the drive-thru at In-N-Out. If anybody's from the West Coast or from the LA area and you know when you're at In-N-Out, it can be like all day, bro. But it's moving okay. Okay, so like I was explaining to you guys, um, I don't know what happened with my dome lights and my other two rear dome lights that are uh, located on the roof of the back seat where the little handle is on both sides and my glove box light is out so i checked the fuse boxes both of them front and rear i couldn't really find a busted fuse um and the, i went back to the tent shop and he's you know he said yeah we use things to cover the dash we do these every day we do charges and challenges every day the only problem that they could probably have is like with a tesla if water gets in but i don't know um so if we're going to see how it works out, that's the only thing that it is. I mean, I'm not even in love with my dome lights anyway, to tell you the truth. I always look on how to get rid of my dome lights. So I'm not that mad about it. And they did a really good job. Um, I like how uh, it came out and um, and how long it took and everything. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that crazy. So things happen when you modify your car. Um, little snafus can happen, dude. Um, and if you guys want to know, I am in my wife's uh, Accord, which is really nice. Um, I love this car. I think it's nicer inside than my car is, definitely. But I'm in her car um, getting food, and the RT is at the his house in the Garizzo, So, But, uh, yeah, it's fun in here. I like it. But anyway, um, I might be going to the dealership. Um... Because I think it could be a problem that was just already developing. You know what I mean? I don't think um, it has nothing to do with that. Like, nothing happened with the dash where it got wet or anything. I mean, I was right there, you know, when he was doing it. I mean, who knows? But um, I think it's just a problem with it could be a fuse or a burnt wire. So that was the only disappointment um, from the window tent um, that I'm kind of disappointed about. But, hey, things happen. Um, you know, if I want my dome lights back, I just have to get it taken care of, and um, we'll go from there. So, I'm going to update you guys on um, what happens with it, because I'm pretty sure some of you already have or will uh, get your your um, windshield tinted. And, I mean, who knows? It can be a potential problem. It could be if you have a Tesla, for sure. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get it uh, checked out. I don't know how long I'll... I mean, I have to make an appointment. I mean, it's going to take a while. Like I said, it's not a hurry. And I'm still in love with the windshield tent. Um, I'm in love with the whole tent job that they did. So um, it's all good when it comes to that. And I have more things coming up with the RT. Um, I'm going to add a few more things to it. 
and I'm gonna be letting you guys know about that. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned. I'm having fun with this build. I'm just getting started. Um, so far, I'll tell you guys what I did. I did a mid muffler delete, which it sounds phenomenal on the year uh, charger that I have. All you need is a mid muffler delete. And I have the five inch exhaust tips in the back. And for some reason, my mid muffler delete doesn't sound as raspy as other people's. It just doesn't. I don't know if the, the exhaust tips have something to do with it. I don't know. Or the way that my exhaust man um, deleted the mid mufflers and the, the pipes that he did replace could be a, a difference. But mine sound good. I mean, I'm in love with my mid muffler delete. And I was actually thinking about getting racing bullets because I've been hearing so much about them. And I've heard a few cars with them on and it does sound pretty good, but it's more quiet, I think. But my mid muffler delete sounds good. So um, back to what I've done to it so far. So I got that. Um, I got a Hellcat lower air box um, with a Canon filter. And that makes a huge, huge difference um, with keeping my intake cool. Because I run no more than, you know, eight, nine percent, not percent, but eight or nine um, degrees ambient. Um, on my air intake temperature and I think that's really good because I know people that like I said in a, another video before I know people with the fancy smancy um, $500 air intakes and all that and they're not running that that temperature I'm running I mean when I'm cruising I get 3% I mean I said it again when I'm cruising I get 3 degrees uh, ambient 4 degrees ambient on the street at a stoplight um, same thing so, um, if I'm sitting for a while, yeah, um, the engine is soaked with heat and it might be 20 or 30 or 40 above. But let me tell you, once I pull off, it's back. I, I, I would say in less than a minute, I'm running back at at least 10 or under ambient. Okay, so I did that. I got an oil catch can made by Billet Technologies, which I showed you guys how I emptied the catch can and how much was in there after 3,000 miles. That was crazy. So I have that. And what else have I done? Performance wise, I think that's really it. Oh, yeah, I have a pedal box. I'm sure you guys know that because I always mention it. I love the pedal box. Um, so with all of that together, performance wise, I'm feeling pretty good about my RT like it goes you know um, it's loud it's fast and with the pedal box it's, it's letting me access all of my power when I want it like right away so I don't know about doing headers um, I don't know about messing with the cat or anything I'm in California so you, you really can't do too much of that here so um, excuse me I'm kind of moving right now because of the line in and out so you can't really mess with that here. So I don't know if I'm really going to be messing with that. Um, and I have a long time uh, before my my uh, warranty is gone. So um, I'm not really going to do anything that's going to mess with my warranty right now. I'm just doing like cosmetic stuff. And then what I already told you that I did. Um, and I think that's, that's pretty sick for now. I mean, tomorrow I can think completely differently. So... Um, but yeah, that's it guys. I'm just gonna see what's up with that and Then tomorrow I'm gonna be heading uh, Back to the shop where I got my diffuser installed and have a conversation with him About my next move and what else I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do a video on that. So look out for that so I just wanted to give you guys an update on the windshield tent and we will see what happens but uh like i said i'm in love with it and um it looks good and so i, I ain't taking it off so um you know i'll just figure out what to do with regarding the um the dome lights i don't know why them shits are out like that and the glove box light so i'll figure it out but um all right guys until the next video i appreciate it remember to follow me on instagram at rtk19 Remember to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, comment below, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll answer your questions, or if you have any questions about anything you might want to do with your car, um, just drop me a question in the comment section, 
and we will keep it rolling. All right, I appreciate all the support and all of my new subscribers. I really do. Um, this is a brand new thing, like I said before, and I appreciate all the support. And I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna keep grinding and putting videos out for you guys to watch. Um, hopefully, it'll be helpful and entertaining at the same time. And I'm gonna be doing some car meets and stuff like that too. Uh, this is just the beginning, so just bear with me, stick with me. I'm just building the RT and working on that. So I'm gonna be coming with like crazy content, um, from car meets, and you know we have a lot going on in the scene in LA, um, the car scene. So. But um, yeah, stay tuned, and until the next video, I am out.